Okay, let's pick up where we left off. We're going to install a receiver uh, and power everything up with a battery here and bind it to my controller. These are the uh, Spectrum AR410. I happen to be a Spectrum guy. Um, these are, this is the AR410 antennaless receiver. Really like these receivers. Um, the old ones had a antenna wire that was off to the side of the receiver and over time that antenna wire would break off or uh, become loose and problematic. These ones are uh, antennaless technology. I really like them. They work really well. We've been using them now for about two years in our models and um, I, I can't say enough good things about these receivers. Uh, when you plug them in, you hold this button. There's a button on top to bind, so no more bind plugs. Uh, you hold this button, the light starts blinking, it goes into bind mode, and then we're going to bind it to our controller. So let's put this all together, get the battery out of the way here. Um, this is our ESC wire right here. You can see our 30 amp Zoid ESC here. We're going to connect that to the number one port. Number one is always your ESC or your throttle, where your throttle go. ESC goes and it controls your throttle or gives you throttle control would be the better. This is our elevator servo. And our elevator servo is gonna go into number three. The way this works with Spectrum is number one is always your throttle or ESC. Two is your aileron. Three is your elevator. And four is your rudder. Again, the signal wire is gonna go on top and the negative wire is going to go on the bottom. I'm going to put that right in the number three there. It wouldn't make a big difference if I plugged it into two or four. It would just, uh, the, the appropriate stick would not control that control surface on here. So you, you're not going to break anything if you plugged it into the wrong um, port there. So anyway, let's plug in our battery. And then I'm going to grab and hold this. Well, I already bound it, so let me Okay, so let's plug this in. And this receiver's already bound to my radio here. So it's already bound. Um So I do have a prop on here. Just be careful if you leave your prop on. But uh, let's do our exercise, our tail here. So that's up, down, and you notice here because we installed these zip ties, the push rod doesn't flex around. Um, let's go ahead and spin up our motor here. And this is a discharge battery. This battery is only at like 11.4 volts at that storage. So anyway, there's uh, that motor operating this. Um, Propeller and this is a 1900 kV 2206 2306 1900 kV 2306 and I got a 6.3 prop on here I could probably put something a little more aggressive like a 6.4 or even a 7 inch prop would work just fine on this setup But uh, so there you can see the elevator pull back it goes up and then our Throttle works just fine 